right, Shalom, Akim. Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give our praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Ha'ashem, Ba'ashem, Rekakodash. Double honor style of elders, the apostles, great millstone. And honest to you, brothers, who are out there doing the work in sincerity and in truth. Keep pushing. We're almost out of here. Yep. Brother, you got it. Yeah, you come. We're just going to a lesson. You know, hey, the vision is set for a point of time. All right? <laughs> hey, and we in that time, man. Okay. Uh, we in the time of the coming of our big brother who's the word in the power of Jesus Christ, man. All right, his name in the Hebrew, Lashem Wakadash, meaning the Holy Tongue, is Yahweh Shah, meaning what? He is the deliverer. He is the savior, man. And guess what? He on his way back, man. All right? For deliverance, for the elect and discretion until two thirds of our people in the other, in the other nations, man. All right? So we're going to go into the vision. I'm going to edify, you know, while we let it loud down, man. All right, this is, <clears throat> this is Habakkuk. 2 verse 1 it says I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. Uh, we don't just be standing upon our watch now man. We see, we see prophecy happening. Prophecy is kicking off all right, like a domino effect. Man. You know, hey, we're not ignorant to say the vice is either man. All right, because we know what's coming, martial law, the FEMA camps and the race wars. See, we're in a time of this vision, man, because when you look at look at the world today, what's going on? Chaos. Chaos going on all around the world, man. All right, because we know that Esau's going to come down, have a great rally, and we have no but a short time. So that's the vision that we see, man. So we stand upon our watch to, to see, all right? Hey, more and more, more and more, hey, how the Lord get closer and closer, man. Okay. It says, and the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables. Write the vision is the prophecy in the tables in these scriptures, man. All right, go ahead. That he may run that read it. Right, which is the elect. Because like, like the Lord said, Yahweh Shah said, my sheep hear my voice. All right, go ahead. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. Right, an uh, appointed time. That's the time is now, man. All right, this is, this is the season of the prophets, man. All right, this is the season that the Lord gonna come back and deliver the elect, man. That's why you're seeing both worlds of the people, earthquakes in diverse places, all right? That's why you're seeing all these things, man, with the moon, all these signs that the Lord has given us. Because this is the point of time that the elect been waiting, waiting upon, man. Because our salvation is better than what we believe. You got one? It's, it's a couple of, um, this is second Ezra, the ninth chapter, starting in the top. I oh, know we got, we got that. Oh, you got it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you got, it. Yeah. We that day. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> All right. It says, uh, <laughs> but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Right. It said at the end it shall speak and not lie. Why is it ain't gonna lie? Because everything the Lord have said is gonna come to pass. Look what we at right now. Right. We in not what captivity. But they not been spoken of in, in Deuteronomy. All right, we're not going over here on slave ship. All right, so this word is known to be faithful and true, man. All right, man. Uh, second Ezra, the 15th chapter, starting at the top. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. Why? Right. speak thou in the ears of his people. Who is his people? The Israelites. Right. The so-called Negroes, they take on that black and Spanish, man. All right, we respect the word that we speak the word of the nation. Right, you the Lord chose the people, man, the Bible, man. All right? But the Lord says, speak unto his people, not our people. Okay. Which I will put in thy mouth, save the Lord. Right, because the Lord gave us the map of the earth, man. All right, we're going to put the Lord. He said he's going to give us the map of the earth to speak, man. All right, ain't going to be a bus coming out with our own interpretation, our, on our own thoughts, man. We're going to answer you, we're going to tell you, we're going to put the scripture. All right? Then grab that and turn to the He just said, he said, uh, with the words that he gonna put it in our mouth. Just like he told Ezekiel. He told Ezekiel in the second and third chapter. You know, get a one for me. You know? This is Matthew 10, verse 20. For it is not ye that speak. Right, why? Because the Spirit is upon us, man. All right? The Spirit is upon us. That's why he just said, it's not ye that speak. Go ahead. But the spirit of your father which speaketh in you. Why? And how? 
because we're coming out what? We're coming out the scriptures. Yep. You know, these are the words of the heavenly father, man. All right, you have our ship out shot, man. So he ain't coming out of our own mouth. He coming out of what? The scriptures. Yep. All right, the Lord gave us this, man. It's not of us. You got it out. Come on. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 15, verse 2. Yeah. And caused them to be written in paper. See, they write the visions plain upon the table. Come For they are faithful and true. See, they are faithful and true, man. So guess what's coming now? What the Lord said was coming. Right. All right. When you hear wars and rumors of wars, all right, earthquakes and diverse places, have we, have we not seen that? It's not World War III on the rise. All right, it's not chaos going on in the world. Pandemic, hey, that's how you know that the Lord is on his way back, man. These are the signs was, was set for a vision for a point of time, man. This is Jeremiah 1 and, uh, and 9. It says, Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. See? Exactly. So this is the spirit that we come with. It's the spirit of your by your mouth shout, man. All right? So the Lord said he had touched our mouth, man. We went with the spirit. We spoke these words, man. When we have our mouth shout. That's all we got for you is prophecy, man. We ain't like these so-called Christians. All right, be unbelievers, man. All right, we coming through and for the word, man. That's it. This is Second Ezra chapter nine, verse one. <laughs> he answered me then and said, "Measure thou the time diligently in itself." Right, and that's what we do. We measure the times, man. That's how you know salvation, man. That we believe. By the way, the uh, the earth is going, man. All right, the thing that's happening in the earth. That's how we know, man. All right, we measure the time. When thou seest part of the signs pass. When thou seest. But you got to be watching in order to see it. Well, now you're going to be caught off guard, man. That's why the Lord had the prophet be watching man. Which I have told thee before. Right? How? How did he tell us before? You know, through the prophet. Get that John 5, 28 to 8. Where it be. You can see how the Lord told us before. You know? So this is how the Lord get down, man. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, get it. Jeremiah 28 and 8. <clears throat> it says, The prophets that have been before me, before me, before us. Mm -hmm. All right. Go ahead. And before thee of old pro prophesied both against many countries. What are we doing now? We prophesying against what? Many countries. Because we all telling these uh, the other nations what well, they're going to be destroyed. Mainly uh, America, man. This place is going to go down by thermonuclear missiles, man. All right? So we doing the same thing as the prophets of old. We prophesying against the kingdom, man. Go ahead. Um, and against great kingdoms of war and evil. Of war. That's what's going to go on within the people and within the nations. War going to kick off, man. Why do you think they, they come to have these rallies and these marches? All right? But for uh, these South for the uh, so-called black people, which are Israelites to death, man. Why do you think that's happening? Because of war. It's been a crack out with, within the people, man. All right, we're not ignoring your devices, say we know you, man. What they Why? Call it a revolution. Revolution, exactly. Hey, we know, man, through the through the through the spirit of power you have by Shabbat Shai, what's gonna go down, man. But Esau is a snakey crap that he got to do it as he planned it out, as he doing it, man. But we know through the spirit, man. When, when he keep, keep on uh, 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 marching and writing this stuff up, what gonna happen? He's not gonna bring my slot. We know that. And what gonna happen when he bring martial law? The FEMA count. Then what he gonna be able to do then? Uh, inject people with the vaccine and what the all about these chip. All right, it's, it's gonna happen similar to their effect, man. That's why he allowed people to do what they do, man. Hey, that's why. That's why he want Jake to get roused up from all these uh, different shoots, <clears throat> like uh, this Breonna Taylor shoot. You know? Seeing that Esau is promoting, you know what I'm saying, the Black Lives Matter, but really go into it, man, that's, that's a, 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 a organization funded by two uh, lesbians and, a, and it's really controlled by Edomite. So it's all bullshit to get Jake roused up to, you know, uh, 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 to rally up, basically, so they can bring the hammer down. And the lesbians admitted to being into witchcraft. Right. You know, so it's the people that's over the so-called Black Lives Matter movement. You know, but see, the Black Lives Matter movement, 
is not of the Lord. That wasn't a vision for the appointed time. <laughs> All right. What you see right here is the true so-called Black Lives Matter. Israelite lives. All right. And we, right. Jake, the, the elect lives actually matter. And we're here to, to tell all of Israel, actually, their sins. And, to come, and through the terror of the Lord, we're going to persuade them to come back into the faith. That's our job. That vision for the appointed time is going to terrify Jake. And the elect, when they hear it, are going to come into the faith, man. That's our job out here, you know? But like I say, this whole Black Lives Matter thing, the Lord not dealing with it. That's why you see them going into scuffles and fights and all this other stuff. And, and they're being a, a downtrodden in the way that they are. It's because, hey, the Lord's not with it. But if you look at the prophets, that's the one thing that the media and all that don't want to touch. <laughs> the vision that's for the appointed time, yeah. like you get into, that's the one thing CNN ain't trying to speak on. Yeah. You remember back, back uh, maybe about eight years ago, we used to watch the news. We used to see every earthquake that happened. Why you don't see earthquakes on the news anymore? They don't show them on the news anymore. Earthquakes and tsunamis, they don't show that on the news. That's part of prophecy. You literally got to download an app just to find out the earthquakes that's going on in the earth and it's huge earthquakes that's like 7.9 record breaking and they're not on the news why because that's going to let you know that the lord it's his time to come back you know this is ecclesiastes chapter 3 and uh verse 8 Time to love and a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace. So this is the time to not be all love and love with the enemy. All right, it's a time to get close to your power, man. You know, where we're kids on the rise. Yeah, it ain't the time to settle down. Yeah, they ain't showing up too much. You know, you have to, you got to go on YouTube and get some type of out to. to uh, Really uh, go into the wars and what's going on with uh, other nations, man. Following, following like uh, Israelis and Russia, you know what I'm saying? Welcome, man. Gotta, gotta, gotta dig into that. That ain't really being shown on CNN, man. Right in Fox News. But it's happening. You know, it's happening. All right, this is uh, Second Ezra chapter 9, verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before. Right, how? Do the prophet. You just read that. You know? You ain't even mentioned it. Yeah, I'm still home. Okay. Then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time. Hey, this is the very same time. That's why you gotta put your two and two together. That's why Esau uh, 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 throwing out uh, uh, certain, <laughs> certain blimps, man. All right, and hide certain stuff because he knows that what time it is, man. Go ahead. Then shalt thou understand that is that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Ooh, Yahweh Shah, I ain't finna come back, man. All right, and visit the world which he made, man, yeah. to deliver and to destroy, man. Why? Because America sin has reached out to heaven. Man. Yeah. The, the Lord don't like that smell, man. That's coming from this place, man. So that's what he gotta do. He gotta burn and cleanse it with the fire, man. But by what? Thermonuclear missiles, man. And also the cherries too. And he told Habakkuk that. When the brother read it, he told Habakkuk that that vision was for an appointed time, exactly what you're talking about, because the brother is speaking prophecy. That's how you know who the prophets are. The prophets speak prophecy. They're telling you what's going to happen before it happens. Now, the thing is, he told Habakkuk that long ago. Now, we're in the time where we're actually watching that vision unfold real time, right before our eyes. 
All right, see, they didn't know nothing about airplanes and cars and all this other shit that they got out here today. Smartphones and Bluetooth and this other stuff Esau doing, artificial intelligence. But they listen to arrows. Yep. You know, but it really missing, but he ain't know right. it was a damn missile. You That's know? the only way to explain it. Yeah. It's shooting from one part <laughs> right. to the other end. Shit. It's an arrow. That's what he called it. You know, so he tried to explain it the best he could. Because you're living on Earth at that time, and you're watching this. Right. And you're like, man, that's why Daniel and these, these brothers were falling sick when they were seeing these different visions. They looking at you with a mask on walking into the store. Yeah. And they like, man, what the fuck? Like, wait a minute. And then they looking at Esau over you. Esau got all this power. Esau didn't have all that power back then. Now they looking at Esau with, with freaking missiles. They're looking at this man in a military outfit. They're looking at you driving a Kia. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> they like, what, what, what is this? Yeah. But that's that vision that was for the appointed time, and now we actually living in it, and we blessed enough to watch it unfold real time now. And you still watch the prophets telling you that vision that is for the appointed time, and the ultimate appointed time of what we getting into is destruction of this society and the salvation of the elect. That's right. This is Ezekiel chapter three and verse seventeen. Uh, son of man. I have made thee a watchman. Right, see, going right back to what? The watchman, man. Yeah. The prophets. The Lord said, well, ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. Right. 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 I have made you a watchman. Right. Meaning the Lord have chosen right. Zeke to be a prophet, man. Yeah. And likewise, with the brother that you see on all four corners of the earth, the Lord have chosen yeah. them to be a prophet and prophesy, man, the downfall and the coming of, uh, of our big brother, man. That's right, that's right. right. Uh, so like Ezekiel 3 and 17, son of man, I have made thee watchman unto the house of Israel. Hey, see, to the house of Israel, not the whole world. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? See, that's what people don't get. They say Israel, Israel not everybody. Right. Right? Even Paul had a cup with it too. All Israel what? It's not of Israel, man. Uh -huh. Alright, so if that's not, a, if it's a, all, all Israel not of Israel, how can... Everybody be a part of this field, man. Right. Right. Let alone the Lord sent to say his people, man. Yeah. He only for the Lord is racist. Right. All right? The Lord is racist. Very racist. Yeah. That's, Very a racist. racist. That's a racist statement right there. Uh -huh. yeah. Therefore, he the word. Hey, if I can say this, like you said the Lord racist. Yeah. All Israel, not of Israel. So he even talked to the Israelites. If you act like another nation. Right. I don't even claim you as an Israelite. Like you, you're automatically counted as an Edomite. You're automatically counted as a Grecian, a Roman, a Chinese man. Whatever you acting like, I'm counting you as. That, that shows that hey, the Lord is the racist of all races. Like the fact that you even remind me of this, I want nothing to deal with you. You know, hey, the Lord not fooling with no no fuckery, no wickedness. No, he's not playing with Jake when Jake <laughs> over here right. trying to eat a pork rib. Right. Where did Jake get that from? They got that from Esau. Yeah. Esau told you that lobster was fancy, shrimp was fancy, caviar was fancy. Right. The, the, the pig with the apple still in his mouth, right, yeah. pulled it out on the platter. That's fancy to Esau. You know, but Esau also drink blood in his ritual from children. That's not fancy. It's wickedness. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. In the town move, they say it's lawful to suck baby penises. That's in the white man's Bible. The town move is the white man's Bible. So he sucks baby penises. I know it sounds funny, but no. He's really that sick in the head that that's what he does. That's why the Lord said, "Learn not to be evil." He knew off the rip. You know, just like he knew from the beginning that he was going to go on. He knew off the rip. If you go and follow the evil, you're going to fuck your whole head. You know, he's how he's how many his people and I. The man that he will have. 
Ezekiel 10, 17, he said, a man I have made these who watch me to the house of Israel. Therefore, he the word in my mouth and give them warning from me. See? That's it. Give them warning. You know, you know, you know, by you giving them warning, what you're going into prophecy. Why because the Lord is going to bring you to visit the world with you back? So we have to come out here and warn you to get the blood of our hands. What you say? Uh, we don't give warning. The blood of the eye. Right. Warn to you. And what? If you don't preach the gospel. Alright? The gospel is what? The good news. Alright? Then what? The Lord deliver us out of hell. This all gonna go down. We're on out, man. The second wave is gonna come. It's over with, man. The second trouble is gonna knock into a door. Right. And they ain't gonna ring the doorbell either. It's gonna kick the door down, man. And the trouble, a lot of people don't, don't understand how serious this thing is, man. All right, and how serious the Lord is allowed to get it all, People don't know how serious it is how to run around now. We just like a wild ass pit bull, you know. You got on the chain, a wild ass just be bogging the shit that wanna eat that. You know what I'm saying? The other dog up, and soon you let that motherfucker chain with that pit bull can go straight in there, attack it. You know what I'm saying? And go in on it. You get locked out. Y'all locked out. You can't let go. And that's what we saw him do. The Lord put him out. He saw him. He put him out of that chain. And guess what? He saw him do. He put him down on our people, man. Right? And, 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 and no person is going to be shown with yeah. And besides that the Lord uh, will have their heads around going into, uh, uh, like, no, 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 Zachariah, is that Zachariah? What's he telling me? No, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, oh, that's Ezekiel 9 and 4. Yeah, 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 yeah. they uh, Mark the Kawhi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is yep. a zip of judgment. The dead leg is the only one that's going to have their heads around them, man. We're going to get to that too. Go ahead, I'll. In Psalms uh, chapter 17, verse 13, it reads, Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. See, so the Lord is holding back. All right? The Lord is the one that got Esau, all right, on that chain. So when the Lord allowed Esau to get up out that chain, guess what's going to happen? He's going to come down, man, and he's going to do what the Lord. Uh, created him to do because when you go to Proverbs the 16th chapter, he said what he had created the wicked for what the day of evil. Yeah. All right, this is what he created the Esau for for the day of evil. Okay, so our people got to realize and know that the time that we're going to come into is known as Jacob Trouble. Hey, it's, it's, some serious, it's a serious time. I like how you said that, brother. You said the Esau. Oh yeah, that's how you gotta refer to Esau, the Esau, the Esau did this, you know, that is the wickedness on earth, that is, if you want to ever see a real nigga, look at the Esau, you see what I'm saying, like it's, it's look at the Esau man, this nigga, he's the realest nigga in it, you already know, <laughs> like young Jesus said, this man has done the worst things possible on the planet right. he made you believe that 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 a banana is unhealthy for you right. yeah. he made you believe that a seedless watermelon was natural this man made you believe that he was the good guy right. he made you believe that he didn't do anything wrong right he ain't trying to justify it. Right, Jake talks about, right, Jake talk about finessing it. No, no, Esau. That nigga the definition. Esau made you believe in his version of Christianity. Yeah, right. He put his face up. This is the realest nigga that you can ever run into. He stole an entire nation. Like, I'm a Jew. Y'all not. Y'all black and colored and whatever the fuck else we told you y'all was, I forgot all the names right, we right, called you. Yeah, yeah. African, 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 and then now if you speak Jigaboo. up against it, 
know. If you speak up against it now, now you're anti-Semitic. Yeah. So like, what the fuck? Like, damn, like, you know. Yeah. Like, you know, with get around it. Yeah. How could I be a Hebrew Israelite? I believe I'm a Hebrew Israelite, but since I'm speaking against yeah. the fake Jews, that makes me an anti-Hebrew anti, Israelite. Yeah, anti. I'm an anti shimite Like, no, I'm pro. Right, right. I'm a pro Shemite or pro Semite as they call it. Because I believe in Israel, but this is not the real Israel. Right, yeah. This is, this is the, the 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 Edomites are the fake ones. Right. Yeah. So how you we're anti them. Right. Not anti Israel. Right. Because we are Israel. <laughs> Esau get mad because you catch him up in a lie. You right. catch him stealing the cookie. <laughs> Hey, you know, who told you hey, to look, damn it? Yeah, who, right. the fuck, who the fuck woke you up, dude? Yeah. <laughs> Go back to sleep. You know? yeah, right. I'm eating here. Right. You know, you've been doing it this long. Right. right. Yeah, this long. Who woke you up? Yeah. <laughs> uh, this uh, second Ezra 6, 16, Salakia, and uh, in 71, it says, they shall be like madmen. Sparing none. Right. Having great wrath, man. Yep. Cause you gotta remember when you go back to the book of Genesis, the uh the 25th chapter, they go to that blessing. Hey, he was upset. And then you scroll on down to the 27th chapter, I think. And he said, uh, my, uh the day at hand that my father uh, at his death, man, that he gonna slay his brother Jacob. You know what I'm saying? That 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 that, 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 uh, that hate still burning in hard today, man. Mm -hmm. That's how you know that's that's the spirit of Esau, man. That's in these so-called white people. That's the same spirit, man. He had a perpetual hate, man. That's forever. Yeah. But still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. And who are those that fear the Lord? Mainly uh, Israel, but the elect. All right. We don't want that fear the Lord, but truly, man. All right. We the Israelites, man, according to the scripture. All right, and that's how you know talking about Esau, because he said that, he that again, he said he's going to do what? Second um, Ezra 16 to 71, they shall be like madmen. Oh, they shall be like a madman. Spurring none. Yep. All right, so the Lord going to allow Esau to come down, spurring out people. All right, and this prophecy got to happen. You no, know, it's got to happen, man. This that, this that vision was set for the point of time. Because we understand and know once this happens, the kingdom of heaven is right around the corner, man. Right. You know, so these things gotta happen. Uh, right. that's, why, that's why he told what he say, uh 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 turn not for these things, uh rubber crown phrase and turn not because these things gotta happen. You know? Hey, it's got to, man. This is the only way out of here. This, it, that's why I say, uh, better the end of a thing than the beginning. Right. All right, because the end of Esau is the beginning of what? Jacob, Jacob. man, the kingdom yeah. of heaven. So, yeah, let chant this place on for discussion, man. Therefore, we'll be in our rest, man. We'll have rest, man. <coughs> nah, it, it passed. Yeah. Okay, then you got some other work. We, we can end. You know what I'm saying? It's is still running. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, to go it's back right. to the yeah, I'm, I'm a yeah, yeah, finish that, finish that. That's the last right. Uh, yeah. this is Habakkuk 2 and 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Right. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come and will not tarry. See, that's what it exactly. I heard the patience and the faith of the saints, man. Right? We suffer right for, for the Lord to come back. He said, no, it's heaven waiting for him. Well, it should surely come. Man. And that's what we're waiting on, man. All right? So, hey, with that, I hope you brought up Edify. Next, next time, we're going to give all the glory and power to you. Yeah, how by Shem, Yahweh Shah, by Shem, Kakodash. Hey, double honors to our elders, our apostles, great millstone, we will teach well. Being great example to Israel, man, the elect, and peace and blessings. Until next time, Shalom. Shalom. Baba Baba. Baba Baba.